All right, so today we are going to be watching a Masters player on a Tracer only account who placed that Tracer only account in gold. And so I'm going to be a little bit harsher, I think, than I have been, and a little bit more critical because as a Masters player in gold, you should be crushing. Right, regardless of what the enemy team is running. If you're playing smart, shouldn't matter uh, what they do unless they all focus you. But if they decide that they're all focusing you because you're a threat, that means the rest of your team has free reign. So uh, this account is Dog9, but I'm going to be calling him Kyle because that's his actual account name, and we're going to be calling him out. Um, a few things is that this is a tracer only account, so saying hey, just swap guys, lol is not a. Oh, hey, what's going on? Dude, awesome, dude. We got mics. Oh my god, it's a thousand times better than my last round. I know. I think everyone actually has a mic. This is my tracer only account. Off support? Or right. double off support with a main Fuck it, I can do go. It. Yeah, it's like, I can. I'm, I'm only any really tank, any able heal. to play tracer, my dude. Mm -hmm. It is a good idea. Alright, so. What do you have? I can't uh, pause. Let's early account. They want to... So, you have Soldier, Lucio, Ryan. And it is a good idea. Is that break? They have a far on a Hammond. Hog. And break. Okay, so you don't actually have a main healer. Um, so right off the bat, you need to be health pack maniac and just not rely on your team for heals. Because while Break can hit some disgusting life saves with her E, um, you really you really shouldn't be playing with your team as Tracer when you have Soldier Ryan, Reaper, Break, Lucio. Like that's pretty death y And while yes, you can help out with that by playing in the middle of that. You get a lot more value distracting their black, distracting their back line, and being a general use nuisance to them. So you kind of play with your team, but the Reaper rapes, um, and you're already two down. They have an Ash as well, Ash Mora. Not a great comp for a tracer. So this is actually something I noticed pretty much all game. As Tracer, if Farah has a Harmony Orb on her, ignore the shit out of her and kill the Zenyatta. You just, like, the only time you should be focusing, like, shooting a Farah when she has a Harmony Orb on her is if she has no idea you're there, she's on the ground, and you can one-clip her. Because otherwise she's going to outheal whatever tickle damage you do, and she's going to murder your face for it. If you kill the Zen, then you have a much easier time of bursting down, or not even bursting, just chipping away at that Farah, Because she's going to have to land if she wants to get heals from her Moira. So, ignore the Farah completely. Um, that may not sound smart, but you not your problem. You have a soldier, you have a hog. Uh, unfortunately, you have no real heals, so you're going to struggle. But... Ignore the Pharah, kill the Zen. Again, even if you hit all your shots, you're not going to kill her. Like, you have you dropped her 20 health and you burned two blinks and a recall to do it, and then she's already back at full. And then you're in a bad position because you recalled early, so then you die. Alright, of this team comp they're running, right? They're not, they're not even running a real tank. <laughs> so, they have one, two... Three deeps, a ball, a Zen, and a Moira. Out of all of these, you decide Farah with a frickin' Harmony Orb on her is the right thing to go after. No. 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 Hello? Murder this, right? Because you're getting rid of Discord and considering the majority of their team is based around doing damage to your team, if they don't have Discord, they're not going to be able to burst through quick stuff as quickly. Right? And then you're going to be able to kill the Pharah. So then it's already two down. And then from there, well, 
all of these suck to go against this tracer, but then you can farm ult off of big ball and ult the ash, and then hopefully your team can clean that up. But instead, you go herp derp, I'm gonna kill Farah, Farah, big problem. Oh no, and then you just get murdered for it. I'll be bad and actually get my shots. There we go. Now we're gonna pause. The big issue there was uh, really bad tracking. I have my ult. I have ult, I have ult, I have ult. Really bad tracking, I wasn't making calls, and uh, I wasn't paying enough attention to my teammate. You're not gonna kill the Pharah, dude. It's impossible. It's impo You're in gold, right? One. First off, check yourself. You're in gold. I get that, like, you're not a gold player, but what I mean by you're in gold, your teammates are golds. Which means that Pharah is incredibly hard to kill. They do not, people in gold do not have the aim to burst down a Pharah quickly. And what I mean by this is, to anyone who's in gold, I'm not saying this is an insult, but as you get higher up the ranks, the time to kill enemy players, right, is a lot shorter. So in bronze, it could take like eight seconds. Oh my god, that's a horrible eight. We're going to say nine seconds. That's what I meant to write. Yep. Uh, it can take nine seconds for a soldier to kill a pharaoh. All right, well, in silver, eight seconds. Gold, seven to six seconds. Plat, six to four seconds. Right? Diamond, four to three seconds. And then that's kind of, once there, then it kind of depends on what else, whether team comps and stuff you're running. But because right now you're in this big time to kill range, right, for the most part, you need to acknowledge that you're not going to be able to kill this Farah even if she's out of position simply because you only have a soldier to help you out. So you and the soldier have to both be crack on with your shots in order to burst down this Farah while she's got a Harmony Orb on her. So yeah, she gets back and then you go in. That was a disgusting fucking pulse bomb. But you're an idiot. You had no idea if that Moira had fade, and you could have very well just freaking wasted it. And then you also burned recall. Well, and you didn't gain any health from it, because I think you were that low. Oh no, that was way too late. And uh, I wasn't paying enough attention to my teammate. Kill the fire. That means that help me focus on fire. So, because she doesn't have the harmony, it can work to bot her, but you shouldn't. Um, it's just you right now, right? It's just you against the world. You decide to shoot at the ball, get rid of his shields, so that's fine. That was a nice stick, dude. But of all the people you could stick on their team, that is literally the one you do not. Right? Well, her and Reaper. Right? Because unless you know their escape abilities are on cooldown, don't throw a pulse bomb on them because they'll just wraith away. And you just threw a pulse bomb without, like, no team comms, no nothing. And it worked. And it's upsetting that it worked because that means that Moira faded for no goddamn reason. So that worked because the enemy Moira was a bot, not because that was a good stick. You'd have done much better getting that uh, pulse bomb on the Zen. So, you get him to half, and so you're like, fuck it, I'm going to get closer. But you're not at full, and now you've probably got a Discord on you. And then you get hit, right? So you're really low. You still don't have recall because you used it when you stuck the Moira to get no health back and to move yourself two feet back behind where you currently were at that moment. So now, guess what happens? You're dead because you're discorded and you're. Thankfully, your team is able to finish up. However, you shouldn't have died there. You shouldn't have gone in. You should have just said Zenny low. And then once the Zen gets distracted by the rest of your team, you pincer from a different angle. Because at that moment, the Zen and the Reaper were not pressured by anything that was on the point, And so they were free to just munt your face. Um. 
That was an awesome shot. And then charge. Don't, point alone. Don't, don't let him retake one. It's going to be really hard for us to retake that from them. Girls, I'm a host. Rip, okay, cool. We made him waste an ult. We made him burn an ult. Reaper has ult. Nice dodge of that. Reaper's trying to get in here to ult, I think. Wait, hold up. Rick, just save your stun for Reaper's ult. Healing. And blink right into Destroy, dude. Holy crap. Um. Really wish these settings could be higher. So you decide to instead of going in to wait back and kind of harass this ball, that's fine. Um, you get destroyed. So immediately your options are to blink, to leave, or to go for this health pack. Issue being, this health pack is highly dangerous because the Zen has line of sight to it and you have Discord on you. So because you have Discord, the Zen has walls on you. So your options realistically are to get the fuck out or to recall right now. You decide to do neither of those and you go for the pack. That in itself is fine because right now you have cover from the Zen. However, important note, you still have big purple ball on you. So because you still have big purple ball on you, you have a giant neon sign to that Zen saying, hey, the tracer is right here. So because of that, he can just charge up his right click. And when you decide, I'm going to murder this Zen, you get destroyed. So you need to be aware when you have Discord. And you need to not be a bot on a Zenyatta when you have a Discord because he has walls. Zenyatta in back room with the small pack. I don't know what the other highlight for that is, but I doubt they do either. <laughs> oh my god, I got the Dude, ball. nice, you got it. The enemy team seems really bad about, like, contesting uh, points. Yeah, both the game and jumping. Fucking great. They don't have a bubble up either. Wait, what? You just fucking hamster? Triple kill, really? What the fuck? I'm trying to break you. Uh. So let's see, what what could we have done there? I mean, you pretty much lost this fight by all their ults, but you did drag out all their ults, so that's good. But at that point, get the fuck out, dude. You have no health. You have one blink. Why are you still in this fight? Either get on point and contest it for half a second before immediately dying, or get the fuck out and live. By this indecision in courtyard, you're just feeding. Then you die. You managed to get Pulse Bomb, that's great. There's Zen just Trance, that should be priority number one. Murder the Zen. Unlucky, you just dropped your Anna. Hey, look at that. That's why you don't pulse bomb anyone who's got Wraith without knowing that they've used Wraith. Uh, it was a nice stick, but it cost you your whole ult, and it cost him a reload. I think he won that one. And now you're in point blank range trying to fight a Reaper who you're lucky is in gold and potatoing. Because he should have fucking murdered your face. That will get destroyed even in plat, let alone anything higher than that. So. N Crispy. That was nice, dude. I'll give you that. Uh, now you're up against Moira, so life sucks because she's the unkillable bitch unless you have great mechanics. Um, but. But rip. Uh, you can only carry so hard. Um, what would have made a bigger difference had been pulse bombing this guy, or even still having pulse bomb after you one clip this guy, and then getting another pick, and then you can really say you're doing your best. Somebody just touched point seventy six. Make a beeline for it. Rip. Oh well. <laughs> your prick has gotten pooped off the map like twice. Yeah, Unlucky. Well, I stuck both of my pulse bumps just in time to avoid it, but she just didn't do it in time. 
No offense, dude. On me because I can't give commentary while you're giving commentary. Get the hell out of here. This is all about me. Alrighty, so you're unwell. Um, that's why they're probably going to be running a similar comp. But you've got Ana Lucio Orissa now. They've still got ball. Good blink away, so he gets nothing. Nice. Um, you use both blinks to get across point, but that's okay, because thankfully no one's over here. Oh, ho, ho, you should have blinked past him in 180 melee. Um, so here, this is actually really nice tracking and a really nice shot. But if you blinked into this corner and just 180 whipped, he'd have died right here. And you'd have been at full. Um, but in st Oh my god, did he kill you from 225 or did this fade right before? Oh, it faded right before. You could have won that. Um, you had blinks and recall. So there was no reason for you to die to that besides being stupid. sound cues though all right so you recall because you're low and you're getting spammed out you like you have a McCree now you're not needed in the core of your team whatsoever you provide so little value being with the bulk of your team that you really shouldn't be at all ever um you need to be out on the flanks doing your thing, pressuring their back line, or even just hitting them from different angles. Because with the Pharah and the Moira, that's a lot of splash damage. And so if your team is all bunched up, both of them really like it. And so you're not only feeding ult, you're making it harder for your healers because now you're another person that they have to heal. And you're taking away your, like, you're making it easier for the enemy team because they just have to hit shoot at this giant blob of people. You're making it harder for your team because they now have to heal you on top of everyone else in this giant ball that's getting shot at. And then you're not really providing much value because Fair is at a range where you're not going to do shit in here. Reaper, that's a, I will say that's kind of a 50-50 matchup, but if you're in a big ball of people and he gets close, that's more skewed towards Reaper because even if he doesn't hit you, he's going to hit the rest of your team and heal. And because he heals so freaking much now, he's going to be okay. And so it's like you need to be out here at a range where you're good against the Pharah, and then she can't shoot at the big blob of people because she's worried about you, or on their healers, or anywhere else. By being in with your team, you're causing more problems than you're solving. And that's not to say that there's not times where, as Tracer, you need to be part of the combo, or the main, like, squad. But, realistically, as Tracer, you need to be more of a flanker. Um, unless you're specifically running dive where you are with the core of your team, you should try to be as self-sufficient and as alone as possible. You get murdered because she's thirsty and she's cleaning up, so that's fine. So you swap the Winston Diva. You have Lucio Brig. Um... Nice click. Um, Alright, so now, yeah, see, now that you're running dive by playing with your monkey, you're enabling each other to do a lot of good things, but before you were just subtracting from your team's capabilities. Don't chase too deep. Don't chase too deep. Don't chase too deep. Okay, you got lucky. Your McCree did not. Alright, so you saw ball. Uh, he's capping. Kind of body blocking. You're tracking, man. Nice. What? What? Why? Why did you? Why did you recall? Why did you burn recall at full health? 
<laughs> not only did you like you burn all your blinks and then you burn your recall as well for no reason for full health in a spot that's not even like like you didn't go balls deep into their team to like kill him like you're you're at mid still you're pretty much by point you're a little bit on their side yeah but that's like one blink away Yeah, and Farrah's going to murder you. Um, you know what would have been really nice right there? Like, what would have just turned that whole situation around? Your E button. Right? If you, ha you have E. What the hell? So you'll, you'll burn recall for being up here at full health. But you won't burn recall on your own side when you're at 37 health. And then you wait too long so that even if you did recall... Okay. So you destroy that, thankfully, because your McCree stuns. You get double dinked. Oh, okay. Alright. Not quite a dingus move as I thought, because I think... Let's see how long it's been. That would have been close whether you'd have healed it or not. I think you would have had you hit it right away, but there's also a chance you could have healed nothing, so I'll let that slide. But if that hadn't been on cooldown at all, you'd have been completely fine. So you're still a dingus. Um, and then you should have gone... For the health pack on the cliff side. Oh, Alright, so they minefield and they bob. Of all the people on their team, you can pulse bomb. Wrecking Bull, when you have no idea of their health, is not one of them. Because if he had, like, shields up, you'd have just thrown that. Wasted. Nice blinking out so that you get, uh... Overshield from Lucio Ults. Nice tracking there on the Zen. Alright, Mora's got no fade. Unlucky. You can give this up. Like, you don't have to waste ult there. I feel like your sensitivity is too high. That was a ballsy ass blank, dude. What the fuck? You should have died. You should have died. Are you shitting? How did you not die to that? Those are stupid blinks. Please some help with the Moria. I can consistently get her to half or lower. It's just really combo. 
Alright, so you're on runes, you're running dive still. This is like prime. Tracer time, dude. You go right side, which keeps you safe from Pharaoh. That's good. You decide to sneak their back line. Still good. You. Okay, so they have an Anna, so play time. If you beef that. So like here, where Farah has no heals, that's a good time to like go after her. Um, they have a May, so you gotta watch out for that, especially if she gets bubbled. So they have no real shield. So, <laughs> why are you? <laughs> what? The fuck was that? Why? Right, you've cleaned up. All that's left is the Zarya. And you just let her melt you from 100 down to nothing. Um, you could have blinked through her, like just disoriented her with blinks. Like blink through her, then blink right back. But, um, yeah, that was a retarded play on your part. So your break somehow gets the fucking Anna again. And you've got Pulse Bomb. Uh, unfortunately, right now with their team comp being, what, Hog, uh, Zarya, Farah, Moira, Anna, who's the last one? Who cares? You don't really have a good pulse bomb target besides the Anna who just died, so I would say maybe just wait and save your pulse bomb, unless someone gets low, but like Hog can heal through it, Zarya can bubble it, uh... Kill themselves. So like Moira right there while she's coalescing, that's the one time she's a really good pulse target because she has no fade. Um, but you decide to back up and just kite it, which is fine. It's not a bad call. Uh, you kind of yeet it and you hit the Rhine, but you don't get the Moira. Uh, you shouldn't be that close in on a Reinhardt. Farm the Roadhog. I mean, anytime you see a Roadhog, you should just be farming that for free Pulse Bomb, because you're already at 88%. Oh, unlucky. That was a good thought. Um, why did you recall? Why are you recalling? You're at 225. You're at 225. You will literally have more health than you're even supposed to. You hit the Rhine. Fantastic. He puts a shield up, so... Or you, you had blinks. Just blink back. You'd have been fine. And now you, you'd still have recall. Instead, now you got 12 seconds of not having recall. And then, luckily, your monkey gets ballsy because you're there. But... Uh, your monkey got too ballsy. And you left. <laughs> um, Alright, so now they have ball. Or they've had ball. I don't even know what's going on. Good old O dubs. Alright. So yeah, Reaper is thirsty for you. He's gonna chase. You were kind of way out of position and you used too many blinks to not kill an Ana. Um did you just Okay, so you have one blink, you recall, you have one blink. You have no blinks. One blink. You're 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 teetering too low on the blink resource management, and it gets hard in fights. But sometimes the better answer is to just blink back to point, wait, get two, three blinks, and then go back in. Um, by putting, especially. Let me rephrase that. When you have recall, you can be liberal with blinks. When you do not have recall, never use up your last blink. Uh, because you need it as like an escape option. And so, because you don't have recall, you need to play super safe. But, because you don't, you get murdered for it. The guy's gonna, yep, just Death Blossom. Oh my god, he got destroyed. 
Wow. Do you win this? You better not win this. You know better than to post a win. You posted a victory? Oh my god. I'm reporting you. I don't even know how. I'm going to call Papa Jeff. This is some bogus ass shit. You literally just made me watch a win. Because your tanks actually started fucking carrying. <sighs> Shaking my head, my dude. Um, normally I give a summary, but since that was more of like a in-depth play-by-play, uh, stop being retarded with your recalls. Because then afterwards, when you do need your recalls, shockingly enough, you don't fucking have them. Uh, so don't be retarded with recalls. When you don't have recall, don't be retarded with blinks. And then pick your pulse bomb targets by people you can actually kill with pulse bomb. <laughs> have a good night.